welcome to this video where we see about in short about nanotechnology, nanomaterials, carbon nanotubes, nanoparticles, and self-cleaning clothes. Researchers say that nanotechnology self-cleaning clothes are on the way. People could soon be able to replace their washing machines with a little bit of sunshine. Thanks to pioneering nanotechnology research being developed by scientist team. The researchers have been working on self-cleaning clothes. This is done by growing nanostructures on textiles which when exposed to light release a burst of energy that then degrades organic matter. So sunshine, or even just a light bulb, could get rid of stains and grime. And they said the next step could be antibacterial textiles that could help in getting rid of germs. So, what is this nanotechnology all about? Nanotechnology, nanotech, is manipulation of matter on an atomic, molecular, and supramolecular scale. A more generalized description of nanotechnology was subsequently established by the National Nanotechnology Initiative. It defines nanotechnology as the manipulation of matter with at least one dimension sized from 1 to 100 nanometers. Scientists currently debate the future implications of nanotechnology. Nanotechnology may be able to create many new materials and devices with a vast range of applications, such as in nanomedicine, nanoelectronics, biomaterials energy production, and consumer products. One of the lead researchers said that the team worked with copper and silver-based nanostructures, which are known for their ability to absorb visible light. They said that basically what we do is take a simple cotton fabric, we have a few different new methodologies to grow nanostructures directly on them, and then once these structures are formed we can just shine light on them. Because the nanostructure is metal based they can absorb visible light. What that does is it basically excites the metal nanoparticles which are present on the surface. And due to this energy, it's able to degrade organic matter which is present on it so that's how it'll get rid of stains. Also they said that out of the two materials, one worked very fast, with the degradation process taking between 6 to 10 minutes of shining. The other one does take longer, about 30 minutes, but it's more stable, so there is a fine balance between stability and the speed. Scientists said so far they had only tested on stains and had not yet started to test on sweat, but they had tested some difficult organic compounds which successfully degraded in the process. Presently scientists are now are trying to do is use more consumer related products, like wine stains or food stains. They try to degrade that and how quickly it can degrade and how much material is actually required to degrade these kinds of stains. Now, let's have a look over nanomaterials and nanoparticles in short. Nanomaterials describe, in principle, materials of which a single unit is sized, in at least one dimension, between 1 to 1000 nanometers. Engineered nanomaterials have been deliberately engineered and manufactured by humans to have certain required properties. Nanomaterials may be incidentally produced as a byproduct of mechanical or industrial processes. Sources of incidental nanoparticles include vehicle engine exhausts, welding fumes, combustion processes from domestic solid fuel heating and cooking. Nanomaterials are used in a variety of manufacturing processes, products and healthcare including paints, filters, insulation and lubricant additives. Nanoparticles are particles between 1 and 100 nanometers (nm) in size with a surrounding interfacial layer. The interfacial layer is an integral part of nanoscale matter 
fundamentally affecting all of its properties. The interfacial layer typically consists of ions, inorganic and organic molecules. As the most prevalent morphology of nanomaterials used in consumer products, nanoparticles have potential and actual applications in all industries. Scientist team announced that people may never need to wash their clothes again, but they still had to establish out what the industry and regulatory authorities requirements were. They said that they have some understanding, but we will need more understanding of the system and how it works. And once they have that understanding hopefully in the near future we should be able to have self-cleaning textiles, so we can get alternative to the washing machine of the house. This research could be extrapolated in other fields, like biology or antibacterial textiles. Also solution can be obtained for one of the problems the entire world is facing is superbugs which is very difficult get rid of them. So one of the potential aspects of this material is that they have started testing it on superbugs and it's showing amazing results. Now let us have glimpse over carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes are tubes made of carbon with diameters typically measured in nanometers. Carbon nanotubes often refers to single wall carbon nanotubes with diameters in the range of a nanometer. Carbon nanotubes can exhibit remarkable electrical conductivity. They also have exceptional tensile strength and thermal conductivity, because of their nanostructure and strength of the bonds between carbon atoms. In addition, they can be chemically modified. These properties are expected to be valuable in many areas of technology, such as electronics, optics, composite materials, replacing or complementing carbon fibers, nanotechnology, and other applications of materials science. We have come to the end of the video. Subscribe to get more updates and hit the bell for instant notification. Thank you.